is, folks. Jonathan Duke the Third. They call him Duke for short. A name you'd search for in vain in the history of the gunslingers of the West. In fact, the only reason he carries a gun is because it goes good with a suit. However, he does have other weapons at his disposal. Namely, a certain class in his way of acting, dressing, speaking, and a capacity for getting people to trust him. By the way, have you ever tried his elixir for long life? You haven't, huh? Well, I can readily understand that. Howdy. Come closer, ladies and gentlemen. You are just about to see the greatest discovery in the world. Step right up, folks. There's a remedy here for each and every one of you. The elixir of longevity. Yes, a magic potion, which, when taken, makes weaklings become as strong as mules. Why, it'll even grow hair on a fried egg. And furthermore, it'll also straighten out a cripple. On a fried egg? Come on now, who'll be the first one to try it? You there, you with the hat on. Would you like to try a bottle? I don't drink. He's just a bit shy. Come over here. Oh, there's no need to be bashful. You, sir, the tall fellow. Come over here. Come on. And now, ladies and gentlemen, a little demonstration of the powers of this magic elixir. I want you to take this iron bar and try to bend it. Bend it. <laughs> now, friends, I want you to watch closely. Here, I'll take that. You tried your best, fella. Take a sip of this, stranger, a big one, and see if it makes you any stronger. Hey, that's enough. You're not out to bend a railroad track, sir. Just a little iron bar. Well, no, let's try it again. Here you are, sir. Watch closely now. Come on, boy. Come on. Hey, clean him. Clean him. I can see the looks on your faces. Now, who'll be the first one to buy a bottle for only one dollar? Yes, sir, only one single dollar. Here you are, sir. Get him while you can. Thank you. How about you, sir? Don't crowd plenty for everyone. Hey, mister, will this stuff make my hand get better? It's liable to grow your whole new hand, friend. Here you are. Thanks. Oh, my dear. Oh, mister, I'll buy one of those little bottles. Here, madam, compliments of the house. All right, who's next? Step right up. How about it there, folks? Now, are you going to stand there and let this great chance go by? Of course not. Why, I can show you letters written in, asking us for our... Here you are, sir. One for you. Thank you very much. One dollar, sir. Thank you. Uh, say, mister, will that potion cure hemorrhoids? Of course it will. Here you are, Grandpa. Here's one for you. I don't want any of this lousy stuff. Take it away. All right, here you are, sir. All right, who's next? I am. My husband has worms. Will this get rid of him? Why, certainly, ma'am. Just drink the whole bottle and then send him off fishing. That's right. Thank you, sir. Who's next? Here you are. Don't touch the merchandise here, Grandpa. Take one I don't want any. All hey, right, step right up. Give me Take one. advantage of this offer while it lasts. Thank, Thank you. you. you Ladies are. and gentlemen, for a more fulfilling married life, try a bottle of this. Bottle? You better get a barrel for it. Hey, mister, will that yeah. stuff work? My wife and I have been trying to have a kid. Three large spoons a day. And if that doesn't work, have your best friend come in and try. Mm, I'm no friend. Lots of luck, friend. All right, who's next? Hello, young lady. Will you trust me for a bottle? I'll bring you the money later. Ah! <laughs> Why, certainly. See you later, I'll show you. <laughs> Thank you. Get your hands off that. Here you are, and I hope you enjoy it. Here you are, Miss. Does it good to carry? Why, of course it does, sir. Keep your fingers out of there. Here, have one in the house. <laughs> I've still got a few elixirs left, all right? Gramps, knock it off. Now put that one in your pocket. I don't want the dang bang thing. Oh, it'll even fix the wheel on your buggy. It's good for everything. Hey, stranger, will it cure psittacosis? You bet it does. It also cures sciatica, thank you, sir. It cures aches, pains, palsy, and rheumatism. It's good for the ducks and pigs, and you know what else? You don't, so I'll tell you. Folks, it cures senility, you hear that, Gramps, and dandruff. 
Why, I tell you, I haven't even listed half of what this elixir will cure. Excuse yes, sir. Me, me, but will it cure this? Oh, of course it will. It's done miracles for me. All right, now, who's next? I you? am. Oh, yeah. Can I have another bottle for my girlfriend, and I'll pay you later? Well, certainly, my chérie. A threesome could be <laughs> Hey, Gramps, get away from the merchandise and let me get on with the business at hand, huh? All right, who's next? It works, it works. Hey, look, everybody, we did it. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. Why, it's made of rubber. It's made of rubber. He's a cheat. They're both in on it together. Get your money back before it's too late. Look, it's made of rubber. Look, everybody, I can do it, too. And I didn't drink any of these lousy stuff, and I can do it, too. Why, just look at here. Look at the poor old hand. What do you think? About what? Dummy. Let's get him, Albert. Look, it's only rubber, you damn whippersnapper. Give him a minute there. Yeah, come on. Give us our money. I want my five dollars. Oh, five dollars. It's your fault. It's my fault. It's your fault. Let's get moving. Somebody help me.
After various unsuccessful ventures and a forced bankruptcy, he tried his hand at cards, convinced that manual dexterity could be put to better use than with a pistol. During this memorable occasion, he was up against a few valiant colleagues who had little to learn from the Duke. By the way, I forgot to introduce his friend and associate, Sebastian Carter, a man who laughs rarely, only when there's nothing to laugh at. I open for a hundred. Go. Oh, me too. I'm in. Guards? I'll play these. I'm fine. Guards? None, fella. I'm Pat. Hundred? Call. Call. And I call. Four aces. Four aces. Four aces. Four aces. Well, it seems aces are in this year. <clears throat> Four, eight, twelve, sixteen. Uh, now, gentlemen, uh, one of us is lying. <laughs> I believe I'll retire. No, wait a minute. You can't leave like this. The bartender will get us a new deck. We'll let you deal, okay? Okay. Go ahead. You call him. Barman? Yes, sir. Bring us a new deck, please. <clears throat> Here you are, sir. A man can do a lot of things with a deck of cards. And old Duke knew how to do most of them. True, cheating isn't exactly fair play. And when a gentleman is forced to do it, he should at least use discretion. And do it with style. Now, the first thing a professional wants to do is get his opponent's attention, which the Duke surely did. I open 100. Call. <clears throat> uh, 100, huh? Well, all right. I'll call you. Call 100. <clears throat> well, I'll take one. <clears throat> Two cards. There you are. I'll play these. 
You're Pat. Open it passes. Check the dealer. Up to you. Two hundred. Not me. Out. Two and three better. Well, you're three. Plus another three. <clears throat> I call. What have you got? Four kings. Aces. Uh. Oh. <laughs> hey, that's the wrong card, my oh, friend. You lose. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Hmm. You gentlemen don't wish to play a serious game, I see. Also, I'm not used to playing card games with cheats. So, I take it as a point of honor to remove the proceeds of the previous hand from the table. Uh, thank you. Hey, friend, where are you going with that? Watch the threads. Hey, what's the big idea of pushing my friend around? Why don't you mind your own business? What, are you looking for a fight? Go away. Clear the table, Duke. You could have stuck it a little sooner, you know. Why? It was good entertainment. Good entertainment, my foot. At my expense. Thank you very much. Come on, let's get out of here. That's the first good idea you've come up with. Thank you, gentlemen, for a most enlightening evening. We must do it again sometime. Now quit stalling, Duke. Here, that's for the bartender. in our story, let me go back and tell you a little something about Jonathan Duke III. Despite his good education and gentlemanly ways, I must confess he didn't exactly come from a family whose name was Crystalline. His father was Jonathan Duke II, whose legendary adventures were not very edifying. 
His grandfather, Jonathan Duke I, was a great horse lover. He loved them with infinite passion. Sometimes, to satisfy that passion, he appropriated horses belonging to others. He took them and defrauded their proprietors. Duke's grandfather was what you might call a common horse thief. As for Jonathan Duke II, he didn't inherit this morbid desire only for horses, but other people's belongings as well. Duke's father started out by stealing pencil sharpeners from the pockets of his schoolmates and regularly cleaning them out with great diligence. Later on, diligence to diligence, he settled on a banking career. Yes, our Duke is a direct descendant of Jonathan Duke II, all right. One of the most noted bank robbers of the West. Yes, sir. Well, Duke, deluded from his recent failure in the commercial field and the bitter experience as a gambler, was determined to make fruitful the knowledge cultivated through two generations. His friend Carter had informed him that in these parts lived a madman who, after a decade of activity dedicated to the systematic theft of anything which contained money, including his grandchild's piggy bank, had finally retired in a citadel which was well guarded by his followers and that this stark raving lunatic was now enjoying the riches he so avidly accumulated. The Duke's idea was to redistribute these accumulations. He remembered a certain Ringo Jones, who for a certain time had been associated with his father on some of his edifying adventures. stepped in sooner, I wouldn't have gotten beat up like that. It'll make a man out of you. Thanks a lot, but it doesn't stop my teeth from aching. I thought when we went into this partnership, everything would be divided up 50-50. Well, why is it when it comes to fighting, I always get your 50% too? <laughs> oh, by the way, isn't this that madman's territory? Yeah, he owns all this land, but I wouldn't tackle him alone. You wouldn't, huh? What do you say we find Ringo Jones and see if he's agreeable to throw in with us, all right? No, thanks. It's better if you talk to Ringo alone, especially since he was a friend of your father's. I got a little girl named Pussy I left in Red Hill a couple of years ago. She'll still be waiting for me, poor thing. <laughs> <laughs> see you in town. Hey, by the way, Carter, what's that madman called? El Dorado! <laughs> El Dorado, as I already mentioned, had started to show signs of mental deterioration. A little because of the wealth he had accumulated, a little because the sun in those parts beat down with extreme intensity. And I think maybe just a little of it was an act to command a hold over his few but faithful subjects. And they in return gave him deference and veneration due an emperor. No. More like a god, because that's what he pretended to be, a god. He was a stingy man, even though he could permit himself the luxury of a newfangled motorcycle. He didn't want to abandon tradition and preferred riding a horse to get the best of the two worlds. Besides, a show of ostentation would have started something among his subjects who continued to prostrate themselves at his feet and stay in that uncomfortable position. One always had the impression they indulged so because undernourished and overworked as they were, it was very difficult for them to straighten up. Ha <laughs> ha! 
one thing was certain. In his eyes shone a sinister light, revealing a diabolical mind. mind capable of the most ferocious acts. Fill her up with super. Yes, my great lord. Find Ringo Jones? Yeah. He's in the lot behind the saloon, down the end of the street. Much obliged. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Come on, boys. You are a smart boy. <laughs> ah, can't you get me in it, boy? No, you it was. <laughs> you. Partner. Hey, you. <laughs> Come on over here. Me? Yeah, you. <laughs> hey, stranger, you want to play? Okay. Good. Just stand right over there. <laughs> hey, let me be the right hand. I lost. I lost. I guess I win. Huh? Oof. Not on your Nelly. Oh, really? I'm still standing. Better knock you down. Before, I know you. Kinda. Who are you? Jonathan Duke the Third, the son of your old partner Jonathan Duke the Second, Mister. But I was pretty young then, so I don't suppose you remember me. That old snake in the grass. I hope he has a heart failure. Yeah. Well, he already had a heart failure. Died of it too. I would have killed him anyhow. So it's better that way. I gather as much. Seems you two had a little dissension. A little dissension. Listen, your father took the loot from a job we did, and I ain't seen him around here since he went. But he went to his reward. That's water under the bridge now. I might be able to make up for it. Would you be interested in a little deal? Uh -uh. No, thanks. Getting took by one duke is enough. Wait till you hear what the idea is, Ringo, before you say no. I thought the two of us would go pay a little visit to a man named El Dorado. El Dorado? You must be out of your mind. Don't you realize he's got a whole army with him? You're crazy. Mm -mm. An army, huh? Well, so do you. And that's why I need you. Understand? Or would you rather play like a bunch of school kids, huh? Did you hear that, boys? Old Duke here is going to teach us our business. All right, Duke, what's your plan? I haven't got one yet. It's no use trying a direct attack. What we have to do is to get inside. Hey, there's Juanita, El Dorado's niece. How about her? He treats her like dirt. Pretty? Very. She hates him, too. Maybe she'll help us. Might work. <laughs> Trying to hit me or the bottle? Well, I tell you, when I shoot at something, I never miss, stranger. You're strong enough on bottles, boy. Have you tried people yet? Oh, yes, I have. But they always end up dead. Is that so? Go ahead and prove it, my little lad. You're a big talker.
<laughs> You're not worth the price of a bullet. Mm. Try that again. <laughs> Hit him again. <clears throat> Once again. <clears throat> You better go before he hurts you. Pussy! Pussy, where are you? Pussy! <laughs> is that you, pussy? Yes, it yeah. is! <laughs> Pussy, where are you? Here, but don't peek. I'm naked as the day I was born. Now, then you waited for me. I made you suffer, didn't I? <laughs> oh, I forgive you. Uh, Why don't you freshen up, darling? I'll be right out. Hi there, you big beautiful lion. But I was looking for pussy. Well, I already told you that. I am pussy, little dog. Where is she? She isn't here. I anymore. thought you were now, pussy. On, I want to find my on. pussy. Oh. Let go of me. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you lie Your down? Your time is shirt. <laughs> Mm, my little lion. Oh, what are you doing? Mm. You're crushing my back. What are you doing? I'm making you happy. No, don't. Hey, friend, you happen to know where a girl named Pussy lives? Huh? Got to meet a friend there. Sure, down the other end of town. Thanks. Well, it takes all kinds, I guess. Miguel, don't worry about it. I've got everything figured out, amigo. I expect Duke will make a deal with Juanita. After he steals the gold from that crazy El Dorado, I steal the gold from him. Acting is <laughs> what I want. <laughs> and I'm tired of talk, Ringo. <laughs> so you want action, huh? I promise that's what you'll get. His father cheated me once long ago. Now I'll even that score up. <laughs> <laughs> Mister, I left my mother to be a bandit. 
And we ain't stole one chicken yet. This time we steal the chicken that lays a golden egg. She wanted to see my picture on a wanted poster. Your picture, eh? She will, Miguel, she will. <laughs> How long you been with me, Miguel? Two years. Yeah, I've been a bandit since you were knee-high to a pussy willow. And I've seen it all, but uh, seeing how you feel pretty keyed up, suppose uh, you lay out the plan for us. And you better be sure it's going to work, or else you're going to find your photograph on a tombstone. Mi amigo, I'll make a plan for you. I know that mother would be proud of me, instructing you in the right way. She always told me I would have made a good school teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Idiots. What do you know? Now here. This is the gorge of the jackal. You'll be here at the entrance with Jack. I'll be over here. And Jose right there. Mm -hmm. When I give the signal, we open fire. Ringo. If this idea fails, I'm going home to mother. Morning, dear. <coughs> Jonathan Duke the Third. My friend Ringo sent me here to talk about your uncle, you see. Well, I thought you might help us uh, play a little trick on him, you know? Like, for example, robbing him of his gold. Other men have attempted it. I have a feeling you'd better go now. But you haven't heard the plan yet. <laughs> what difference does it make? They're all the same. Now, that's not really true, Juanita. Now, look, just suppose you... Now, why don't you just tell El Dorado this plan, stranger? I'm sure he'll be anxious to hear it. Come on, let's go. And is he coming with us? <laughs> now, as I was saying before we were so rudely interrupted, this plan of ours is foolproof. However, we do need your collaboration. Naturally, you'll have your share of the gold. Oh! Excuse me. I can tell you like the idea already. Juanita, you and I are going to get along just fine. According to Juanita, there'll be a wedding celebration in town this evening. Some of El Dorado's men will be in the saloon, getting drunk. That'll be your job. You make sure they stay there as long as possible, Ringo. Understand? Got you, Duke. While Carter melts into the crowd and keeps a close eye on the others. That's nice embroidery. Looks like you've lost a stitch, though. I lost a stitch? Uh-uh. No, sir. Now, don't forget. We meet at the Gorge of the Jackal. Oh, my God. 
tanking. It's all beer, bartender. Hold. Who goes there? Juanita, niece to the great El Dorado. Let me see your pass. You may enter. Come, Jonathan. Going, stranger. He's with me. His Majesty is expecting us. Oh, highest God, marvelous and shining as the sun, light and marshal of these lowly people, glorious, apostle, oh, these miserable people. I pray you, keep yourself. Always so handsome, El Dorado. As intelligent, that chap's a complete as lunatic. vulnerable, yes, and as I know. rich as you are. <laughs> oh, great El Dorado, son of our dark lives, I brought you the man of whom I spoke. Approach, stranger, and show me what you're capable of. Gladly, sire.
Why don't you applaud? <laughs> applaud, I said. <laughs> Wait. Wait. <laughs> the best is yet to come. Observe. Your Majesty, if I may. Wonderful. May I borrow these, Your Highness? Go right ahead. Ah, Final trick, which I created expressly for the great El Dorado, I require a bottle of tequila and a few crystal glasses. Immediately.
And now, everyone, a toast to this, our omnipotent sovereign. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> now that it's empty, we'll wrap it up. What? Oh, a simple bottle disposer. <laughs> <laughs> and what is this I see? Ah. <laughs> and now the pièce de résistance. <laughs> you mustn't forget the toast in your honor. <laughs> Drink I... with your subjects. Oh, I... Please, I beg. I don't drink. I have no vices. No mortal imperfections, I'm afraid. So I'll just... Pity you didn't lower yourself to us mere human beings. This is the finale, the end of the show. Got it? Now it's time for curtains. Hmm? You see, if you had drunk that toast with your subjects, you'd be sleeping as peacefully as they are now. Give me the key, Sovereign. Guards! <laughs> Hold it. Don't push me any further. No, you're going to let me have them? My finger's getting itchy. All right. Please. Oh. <laughs> unexpected development wasn't exactly part of Duke's carefully prepared plan. Fortunately, among his various talents was the art of fencing, which he was fairly good at. But, unfortunately, El Dorado was fairly good at it, too. In fact, he fought like the devil. And when at last it seemed the outcome of the duel had already been signed, El Dorado made a mistake. A fatal one. He thought he had the Duke cornered, forgetting that he who corners by the sword dies by the sword, <laughs> or something like that. Huh? <laughs> 
Majesty is an encore, my famous rope trick. Huh? Guaranteed to tie you into knots. <laughs> help me, Juanita. You're blood of my blood, remember? Uncle, you're remembering a bit too late. I beg you, Juanita, help me. I'll give you half my gold. Thank you. I already have it. <sighs> you can't do this to a god. I'm an atheist. <laughs> Excuse me, Your Highness. <laughs> I pray you don't. Uncle, gods don't pray, they're prayed too. Oh, oh. Open up those strong boxes. No, 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 no. I am the light and the stars. And my gold is sacred. You'll be desecrating it. Who's desecrating it? We're just taking it. No! My gold! My gold. No. No. Guards! It's useless. The guards are finished. It's just us thieves. Oh, help me! Someone! Anyone! I'm the light in the stars! Oh. <laughs> my gold, my beautiful gold. Take it. See if I care. No, 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 I take that back. Come on, hurry it up. No, my gold, my gold. Don't leave me like this. <laughs> Ah! Excuse me, Your Highness, did you put your answer in? My gold! Don't leave me here! Don't leave me here! Not like this! Okay. <coughs> Voila! I told you it was a rope trick, didn't I? Goodbye! <gasps> I was just saying. Hey, she's with me. <coughs> Not anymore. Hey, Get me. Hey, Joe. Come on, get in there. You have to, fella. Too far! Oh, 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 oh. 
Where are you? Yeah, come on. Join you. That's enough, boys. Let's go. You hear what I said? Move it. Carter. Hold it. Everything. 
everything goes as we planned? Yeah. Good. Then we better get moving. Come on. Let's go. now. Let's get after him. down there. You come with me. Let's go.
Ringo's men, but he's still alive and somewhere behind me. We gotta get out of here. I'll get one either. I'm ready, Jonathan. No, no. You're hurt. It's nothing. I see you haven't hidden the goal yet. No, I think we'd better take it along with us. He knows this house. El Dorado finally died of constipation, and Duke, having become his legitimate heir through marriage to Juanita, El Dorado's only descendant, could finally dedicate himself without financial worries to his favorite hobby. Four aces. Four aces. <laughs> Gentlemen, I have five aces. I guess I win. The picture's ended.